Hey, what is up, degenerates? So I was scrolling through YouTube today, trying to think of something to make, and then I thought, oh, that'll get me views. So today I'll be going over how to get your first 100 subscribers. Many channels upload videos on this topic, and it's just filled with useless information for like 20 minutes, so I figured why not give you some real tips at achieving this milestone from my personal experience? Why not? <laughs> I've summed it all up into five quick and easy steps that'll help you grow on YouTube organically, or something, I don't know. Number five. Edit your videos and create thumbnails. <laughs> You're stupid if you think an average person is gonna sit through an entire 15 minute unedited vertical iPhone video of you talking out of your ass about your top favorite hentai videos. Wake up. If you find your video boring after making it, then the people watching it will probably find it boring too. And the second point to this, which is the thumbnail aspect, nobody wants to click on a video that's just like an image of your blurry ass on the side of the screen. And I use Premiere Pro to edit my videos and Photoshop to edit my thumbnails, but if you're very new and can't spend any money, that's perfectly fine. There are so many free programs to use. My personal favorite was Videopad. It was pretty slow sometimes, but it's free and it's easy to use. And I would also recommend Pixlr for creating thumbnails. Number four, patience. Many new YouTubers start off expecting people to watch their content and expect their channels to grow fast. And then when that doesn't happen, they resort to buying subscribers or doing sub for sub which does literally nothing for you. Be patient with your channel's growth. It will take a lot of time to gain an audience. It doesn't just happen overnight. Sub for sub websites and sites where you buy subscribers may gain you subscribers, but they don't gain you fans. You're dumb if you think Mike from Nigeria is gonna help you grow a loyal fan base. This segues into my next step. Number three, don't buy views or subscribers. I know that it can be quite tempting to buy views or subs, but it's not worth it. If you buy subs, you're only gonna get a bunch of inactive accounts following you, like I just mentioned before. If you buy views, you don't get anything out of it besides a higher view count, which looks nice, but you're not gaining any revenue from it as a small channel, and you most likely don't have any sponsors. So my point here is that it's not worth putting your money into views if you're not making anything back. And as a small channel, you're not gonna make that back. Mike from Nigeria has just swindled you yet again. Number two, now this is an important one. Don't be a dick. What I mean by this one is, be likable. Nobody wants to watch someone who irritates them. Trust me, I've learned this one from experience. Don't be a dick. Number one, use lots of keywords and strategize on what you're gonna upload next. This is number one because it's the most important. Use keywords in the tag section of your videos and put in keywords that are related to your video. These keywords will help rank your video in certain YouTube searches. I know it can get tiresome thinking of new keywords sometimes, which is why I recommend TubeBuddy. No, that's not a porn site. It's a Chrome extension that allows you to find relevant keywords to use. And it tells you what keywords will help your video and what keywords won't. Now the second part to this one is, you have to plan your videos. If you don't plan what you're gonna make a video about and just start recording yourself talking about your crippling porn addiction, you're gonna bore the viewers. It's one thing to get a view, but it's a whole nother thing maintaining that view. What I mean by that is, sometimes someone will watch a bit of your video, but then they get so bored that they'll click out after like a minute or so. That's bad. If you plan what you're gonna say ahead of time instead of just rambling onto a camera awkwardly, then you're more likely to get your viewers to watch all of your video. So that's it for today's video. What was my random burst of inspiration for this video? Views, I want views, give me views. If you found this helpful in any way, please be sure to drop a like on this video. Please subscribe and turn post notifications on so you'll be notified the next time I upload. Thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you all in the next video.